Imagine a time before the dinosaurs, a time when the earth was a desolate, barren place, devoid of the lush greenery and towering mountains we see today. Picture a world where the land was a vast, rocky expanse, and the air was thick with volcanic gases. There were no trees, no flowers, and no animals roaming the land. Our journey takes us back billions of years to a time when Earth looked vastly different. It was a world of fiery beginnings where volcanic eruptions were a common sight, and the surface was constantly being reshaped by molten lava flows. This is a tale of fiery beginnings, single-celled organisms, and the slow, steady march of evolution. These tiny organisms were the pioneers of life on Earth, and their existence set the stage for the incredible diversity of life that would follow. Imagine the first forms of life emerging in the primordial soup, tiny, single-celled organisms that would eventually evolve into more complex life forms. This process of evolution took millions of years, with each step bringing new and more diverse forms of life. Our planet Earth formed over four and a half billion years ago. In the grand scheme of the universe, that's like yesterday. The early Earth was a hostile place with a surface constantly bombarded by meteorites and a volatile atmosphere. In the grand scheme of the universe, that's like yesterday. But for us, it's a journey back to the very dawn of life. The formation of our planet was just the beginning of a long and complex history that would eventually lead to the world we know today. But for us, it's a journey back to the very dawn of life. We'll witness the birth of oceans, the rise of oxygen, and the incredible diversity of creatures that emerged long before the dinosaurs roamed. We'll witness the birth of oceans, the rise of oxygen, and the incredible diversity of creatures that emerged long before the dinosaurs roamed. The early oceans were teeming with life, from tiny, single-celled organisms to more complex multicellular creatures, and the incredible diversity of creatures that emerged long before the dinosaurs roamed. These early life forms were the ancestors of all the plants and animals that exist today, and their evolution is a fascinating story of adaptation and survival. Get ready to explore ancient landscapes, meet bizarre creatures, and discover the incredible story of our planet's past. From the first single-celled organisms to the rise of complex multicellular life, the history of life on Earth is a tale of constant change and adaptation, and discover the incredible story of our planet's past. Fossils embedded in rock layers tell the story of ancient ecosystems and the creatures that once inhabited them. These remnants of the past provide a window into the world as it was millions of years ago. Buckle up because we're going way back in time. This journey will take us through eons, periods, and epochs, vast stretches of time that shaped our planet. Each era brought new challenges and opportunities for life to evolve and diversify. This journey will take us through eons, periods, and epochs, vast stretches of time that shaped our planet. From the Hadean Eon, when the Earth was a molten ball of rock, to the present day, each period in Earth's history has left its mark on the planet. But don't worry, we'll guide you every step of the way. Let's begin. As we embark on this journey through time, we'll uncover the secrets of our planet's past and gain a deeper understanding of the forces that have shaped the world we live in today. Our first stop is the Hadean Eon, a time of intense heat and volcanic activity. This period, named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld, was characterized by a hellish environment. The Earth's surface was a molten landscape, constantly reshaped by violent volcanic eruptions and the relentless flow of red-hot lava into the dark primordial oceans. Imagine a young Earth, still forming, with molten rock covering its surface. The planet was a seething cauldron of molten rock and metal, with temperatures soaring to thousands of degrees. The air was thick with toxic gases, and the ground was a glowing, ever-shifting expanse of lava. It was a hostile environment, bombarded by asteroids and comets. These celestial bodies, remnants from the formation of the solar system, crashed into the Earth with tremendous force, adding to the chaos and heat. Each impact brought new materials to the planet, contributing to its gradual growth and evolution. As Earth cooled, water vapor condensed and fell as rain, forming the first oceans. This cooling process took millions of years, but eventually, the relentless downpour of rain began to fill the planet's basins, creating vast, primordial seas. These early oceans were hot and acidic, but they were the first step towards a more hospitable environment. This marked the beginning of the Archean Eon, about 4 billion years ago. The Earth's surface had cooled enough to support stable bodies of water, and the atmosphere began to clear, allowing sunlight to reach the surface. 
The Archean Aeon was a time of relative calm compared to the Hadean, but it was still a world in flux. In these primordial seas, the first signs of life emerged, single-celled organisms called prokaryotes. These tiny, simple life forms were the pioneers of life on Earth, capable of surviving in the harsh conditions of the early oceans. They were the ancestors of all life that would follow. These early life forms were incredibly simple, but they possessed the remarkable ability to reproduce and evolve. Through a process of natural selection, they began to adapt to their environment, developing new traits that allowed them to survive and thrive. They thrived in the absence of oxygen, relying on other elements for energy. In the oxygen-free environment of the early Earth, these organisms used chemical reactions involving sulfur, iron, and other elements to obtain the energy they needed to live. Over millions of years they spread and diversified, setting the stage for the next chapter in Earth's history. These prokaryotes colonized every corner of the early oceans, evolving into a wide variety of forms and laying the groundwork for more complex life to come. The Hadean and Archean eons were periods of dramatic change, shaping the planet we know today. The intense heat and volcanic activity of the Hadean gave way to the more stable but still dynamic conditions of the Archean. These eons were a time of transformation, as the Earth evolved from a molten, lifeless rock to a planet teeming with the first signs of life. From molten rock to the first whispers of life, these early eons set the stage for an explosion of diversity. The simple prokaryotes of the Archean would eventually give rise to more complex organisms, leading to the rich tapestry of life that we see on Earth today. The story of our planet is one of constant change and evolution, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. The Proterozoic Aeon spanning from 2.5 billion to 542 million years ago witnessed a pivotal event, the Great Oxidation Event. Some prokaryotes developed the ability to photosynthesize, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This dramatically changed Earth's atmosphere. Oxygen, toxic to many early life forms, led to a mass extinction. However, it also paved the way for a new kind of organism, eukaryotes. These cells with a nucleus and other complex structures thrived in the oxygen-rich environment. The Proterozoic Aeon also saw the formation of the first continents and the first glaciers. These changes in climate and geography further influenced the evolution of life. As the Proterozoic Aeon drew to a close, life on Earth was poised for a dramatic transformation, an explosion of diversity known as the Cambrian Explosion. The stage was set for the rise of complex, multicellular organisms. The Cambrian period, beginning about 541 million years ago, marks a pivotal point in Earth's history. This era is often referred to as the Cambrian Explosion, due to the rapid diversification of life forms that occurred during this time. Before the Cambrian, life on Earth was relatively simple, consisting mostly of single-celled organisms and simple multicellular forms. However, the Cambrian period brought about a dramatic change. In a relatively short time, geologically speaking, life diversified at an unprecedented rate. This period saw the emergence of complex organisms with specialized body structures and functions. The seas teemed with a variety of life forms, each adapting to their unique ecological niches. The fossil record from this time provides a fascinating glimpse into the early development of complex life on our planet. This burst of evolution, known as the Cambrian Explosion, gave rise to most of the major animal groups we know today. It was a time of rapid evolutionary experimentation, with natural selection driving the development of new and diverse body plans. The Cambrian seas were home to a myriad of creatures, from simple filter feeders to more complex predators. In the warm, shallow seas of the Cambrian, a dazzling array of creatures evolved. These environments provided the perfect conditions for life to flourish, with abundant nutrients and relatively stable conditions. The diversity of life forms during this period is truly astounding, with many species exhibiting unique and bizarre adaptations. Trilobites with their hard exoskeletons and segmented bodies scuttled across the ocean floor. These arthropods were among the most successful and diverse groups of organisms during the Cambrian, with thousands of species identified in the fossil record. Their hard shells provided protection from predators and allowed them to thrive in various marine environments. Strange, soft-bodied creatures like Wawaxia grazed on algae, adding to the diversity of life forms. 
Wewaxia, with its spiny body and unique feeding structures, is a prime example of the evolutionary experimentation that characterized the Cambrian period. These soft-bodied organisms often left behind only faint impressions in the fossil record, but their presence is crucial to understanding the full scope of Cambrian biodiversity. While early cephalopods, relatives of modern squid, jetted through the water, these early mollusks were among the first to develop complex nervous systems and advanced locomotion techniques, allowing them to become effective predators in their marine habitats. Their evolution marks a significant step in the development of more complex life forms. This explosion of life wasn't just about new creatures, it was about new body plans. The Cambrian period saw the emergence of various body structures including segmented bodies, exoskeletons and specialized appendages. These innovations allowed organisms to exploit new ecological niches and adapt to changing environmental conditions. Animals evolved shells, skeletons and complex sensory organs. These adaptations provided protection, support, and enhanced sensory capabilities, giving these organisms a competitive edge in their environments. The development of eyes, antennae and other sensory structures allowed for more effective navigation, predation and communication. The Cambrian explosion set the stage for the incredible diversity of life that followed. The evolutionary innovations of this period laid the foundation for the complex ecosystems we see today. The diversification of life during the Cambrian had a profound impact on the trajectory of evolution, influencing the development of future species and ecosystems. It was a time of experimentation and innovation, with evolution favoring those who could adapt to this new world. The Cambrian period represents a critical chapter in the history of life on Earth, showcasing the power of natural selection and the incredible potential for life to diversify and adapt. The legacy of the Cambrian explosion continues to shape the biodiversity of our planet, reminding us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of life.